Hello everyone, Daniel here, and today we are gonna be talking about some accessories for the MacBook Pro and new MacBook Air that I think that you would be interested in. Before we get started, affiliate links to all of these products are gonna be in the description box below. Yes, I get a small commission off of them, but you know, times are hard and I'm quarantined, so I'm making this video at like midnight. As you know, the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air now have four ports two USB-C ports on each side. So what you're gonna want is this guy. This is a USB-C dongle that has several different adapters on it, including three USB 3.0 adapters. It's got an SD card and a micro SD card on it, as well as an HDMI port on the tip. Now I have talked about this in previous videos and I have included a link in the description of said videos and you guys really seem to like that video so I am giving you guys what you what you need. I'm giving you what you need. If you are doing anything related to video editing or any type of file transfer, chances are most people are going to have something that requires USB 3.0 and not a USB-C. Shameless plug. Daniel ASMR YouTube channel is up videos every day. Anyways, we're going to move on to the next item, which is this guy right here. This is a one terabyte external hard drive G drive that allows you for quick file transfer. And yes, this is actually the USB-C version of the drive that they have. Now, honestly, if you want to cut down on cost, you can get a USB-C 3.0 drive and hook it up to the adapter, which is going to save you a little bit of money. However, I didn't want to plug this into an adapter and then plug that adapter into the computer. I just wanted to be able to transfer all of my files, since I do a lot of video editing, into this so that I can organize all my files here and then when I'm editing, which seems to be constantly these days, I can just do every single thing I need off of this. So this does come in handy. I would highly recommend doing it that way so that it cuts down on the clutter because it defeats the purpose of having a laptop if you have to plug 10 different things into it. And you know, it should be a pro for a reason, but we're not gonna get into that. So I will link the USB-C version and the non-USB-C version so that it's cheaper for you if you wanna go that route in the description box below also. Another thing that I wanna talk about is the next accessory, which is a wireless mouse. Now, I know that the MacBook Pro has a huge touchpad, and yes, it is awesome, I love the touchpad, but when I'm doing a lot of work and I'm doing video editing and I'm scrubbing through timelines, this guy is kind of a lifesaver. Now, at first I did not want to get <laughs> a uh, wireless mouse because I didn't want to have to like unplug the port and then stick it into the computer every single time I wanted to use it. Uh, but I actually found a strictly Bluetooth Mac compatible wireless mouse and all I have to do is turn it on and then it automatically shows that it's connected to the computer. So I will find this specific brand and put a link to this in the comments down below so that you can purchase this if you want to. And to be honest with you, I think this was like nine bucks. All right, you guys, so this is not a sponsored video. However, I do want to point out that I did put a dbrand skin on my MacBook Pro, and I think that it looks amazing. And I don't think that you can tell in the video that I'm showing you right now, but the, it's textured. It, it, it has full-on texture. It's a grippy. I like it. It's not a slippery surface, and it just makes me feel a little bit more secure and stylish when I'm hauling my MacBook Pro around, which I have been doing a whole lot lately. Me and my friend Sydney have started up a podcast, which I will link in the description box below as well, so that you can check that out if you want to, which I'm going to make a separate video on that entirely, but I don't want to get off topic too much. So be sure to like this video, check out all those links in the description box below, as well as drop a comment of anything that you would like to see in the future going forward. If you like this setup, because I really felt like filming in the dark, then just let me know. I will keep filming this way. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.